so what happened was that uh, 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 I started going and watching some shows at the comedy store and some other bars and in you know, open mics which used to happen and i said hey i think i can give it i can give this a try you know it seems this and there was also a time there was this very popular russell peter video which went viral you know on youtube that yeah. you can these are times when youtube was sort of coming and not everybody had access to youtube not only people knew what youtube you know talking about time where i think there was i don't know there was 1g or 2g technology so there was not you know enough streaming and things like that you know yeah so uh, yeah so that russell peters video came and i said chalo let me give it a try so it was actually a new year resolution 1st jan 2012 or 31st december 2011 how you look at it i said not this year i have to change my life i have to give it a shot so i said i'll uh, sign up for the first comedy open mic which comes and the first comedy open mic was on 2nd feb 2012 after a month and i didn't know what stand up comedy was honestly i didn't so but i wrote something because i used to write these funny posts i knew what satire was i wrote a pick piece i memorized it and went and sort of uh, did my first uh, open mic and it went off uh, very well uh, you know i actually didn't we didn't tell our children about it we, uh, me my, uh, my wife asked me do you want me to come along with you i said yeah please come because i don't want to jump off the bridge if i bomb <laughs> it would be too embarrassing you know at this age 45 year old man going 45 year old man going and trying comedy and the you know, uncle coming on stage and doing and you know uh, so i said no please come uh, we didn't tell our children about it we because we just told them we are going out for dinner because children had thought dad had gone mad you know trying to do comedy at this age and uh, that time my elder daughter was 17 younger one was 15 so yeah mm. it started from that open mic and i did very well at the open mic i met a lot of the other comedians said hey you are very original you have a very good voice voice means you have a you have opinionated voice so mm. uh don't leave this because a lot of people they do it like a bucket list they do it only once and because genuinely the The, you know the uh, this craft is so uh, you know going up on stage writing jokes making people laugh i think is a very very difficult job you know it sounds mm-hmm. looks very easy but it's genuinely mm-hmm. i know the craft so i know how difficult it is so uh, i went and actually from that open mic it started i started doing more open mics started doing there and for four years wow. i did from 2012 to 2016 i did both my ceo giri as well as stand up comedy and mm-hmm. 2016 when i saw that uh, you know there was a time this the market was booming the stand up comedy scene in india you know because comedy yeah. clubs more comedy clubs were opening in different parts and comedians were sort of coming we were getting a lot of corporate gigs you know comedy as an art form so started getting accepted in india you know and uh, and 2016 then i finally took the call and i resigned from my ceo job and <laughs> got full time into comedy yeah So wow. this is my sort of journey in I think 15 minutes. 